Good afternoon, everyone. Today is May 2nd, and I would like to talk about warts. Frequently, people come in uh, with for a concern of warts, and they ask me, is this contagious? How did I get it? And I tell them, well, warts are actually a virus. You can pick them up anywhere. You can pick them up from door handles, from handlebars, from... Um, grocery cards, at the gym, you can pick them up anywhere. And yes, they are contagious. If you happen to have a wart on a finger and you're messing with that wart with the other finger, your other finger can get it. So you have to be very careful. Um, the thing about warts is that the virus resides at the bottom and it, it does such a good job of walling itself off from its environment. It walls itself off at the top. That's why they tend to have this very hard surface. And it also walls itself off from the bottom from your, from your immune system. So your immune system does not recognize it as foreign. And without it recognizing, without your immune system recognizing the wart as foreign, it does not mount a response to it. And as, as long as your, your immune system is not fighting it, the wart is perfectly happy there. The unfortunate thing about it is that it continues to persist. And at any point in time, if you mess with it, you could easily spread it to yourself, to your other fingers and whatnot. So it's important whenever you have a wart, it's a good idea to have it treated. Um, how to treat it? There's so many different ways to treat it. There's many over-the-counter gels, liquids, band-aids, freezes. I am partial to the liquid. I prefer the liquid. I don't like the other treatments. I think whenever you get salicylic, salicylic acid solution, any one of the products that happens to have salicylic acid uh, as the solution, as the active ingredient, I think that's a good way to go. I frequently have patients do something along the lines of every night, wash their hands, dry them off, take a nail file and file down the wart. I frequently have them do this over a paper towel because all those little shavings that you take off the wart, you want to be able to collect them and toss them. You don't want them spread all over your environment. Remember, you can easily spread this to yourself. So you want to file them down, um, pick up the paper towel, throw it, maybe wash your hands again, dry your hands, and then get this salicylic acid based solution and put it right over the wart. Let it dry off. Once it's dried off, you take some duct tape and you cover the wart with duct tape and you go to sleep. You leave it on overnight. The next morning, you remove the duct tape doing this one or two times you're not going to notice a difference but around the 10 anywhere from day 10 to 14 you're going to notice a big chunk of wart fall off and i cannot tell you how rewarding it is to see the wart fall off because you see the chunk fall off now there's still wart there but the wart a, a huge chunk of it has fall off, fallen off and a lot of that is the armor you're now at the root of the problem but believe it or not, you're not done. You got to go further. Now that it's open and it's somewhat weepy, I like to call that wart juice. You really have to cover it up and wear a Band-Aid until it crusts over. Because otherwise, you're leaving wart juice everywhere you go. On your door handles, on handlebars, at the gym. You're leaving wart juice everywhere. So put a Band-Aid on there and cover it up. Protect yourself. Protect um, your family members. Once it crusts over and that crust falls off, you want to start that entire treatment course all over again. Uh, you want to wash your hands, file it down, um, wash your hands again, put some solution on there, let it dry off, cover it with duct tape, go to sleep, and then in the morning, remove the duct tape and after around day 10 to 14, another chunk will fall off. And when the other chunk falls off, you don't want to leave wart juice everywhere. You cover it up with a Band-Aid and you stop the treatments and you wait. At some point, going through those cycles, you're going to notice that the wart looks like it's gone. Chances are it is. If it's not and it grows again, then at that point, it's time to see someone 
to get it treated. It's probably a good time to see a board certified dermatologist. And in the office, I typically um, com combine treatment modalities. I'll freeze it, I'll um, numb it up and burn it off, we'll inject it. There's different treatments, but regardless of which treatment we do, I still have patients do that treatment that I just described. Sometimes that, that over-the-counter salicylic acid solution uh, is substituted by a prescription strength um, um, wart medication. But inevitably, in order to get rid of a wart, you have to go to war with that wart. You have to basically say it's from here for the next two months, it's either the wart or me. And and only one of us is going to come out uh, a winner, the victor. And that's going to be me. And you just keep at it every single night until you've gotten rid of that wart. Um, so many, it's, it's a process. It's an ongoing process. If you find that that process has you frustrated, the wart is, is not going away, or it's in a special site, like if it's on the face, if it's around the nail, if it happens to be around your toes, um, if it's anywhere in a sensitive area in the, in the body, that's when you really need help. At that point, it's time. Make an appointment with a board certified dermatologist so that you can be appropriately evaluated and treated. That's all for now. Until next time, from the Alamo City, this is Dr. Ana Sauceda, helping you put your best face forward. Take care. Good night.